fans of Battletech, Macross, and situations occurring that challenge your preconceptions. Thank you very much for joining me for an unboxing review of something unexpected and interesting. And well, if you are a long time dedicated fan of FASA's Battletech game, as a yours truly McCheese is, you will appreciate that there is probably no filthier, swearier, nastier language to utter than the name Harmony Gold. For those of you who are in the know, you know. For those of you who don't know, well, Harmony Gold is a company who has had a long-standing legal dispute with FASA and its derivatives over the ownership of the imagery of certain, let's say, robot designs, originally featured in the 1980s Macross anime. And that has gone on for many years, and it led to the famous situation where certain designs were removed from the Battletech game the unseen designs. Why is that relevant to this video? Well, it's relevant because we're looking at this miniature here. Um, this is a model of the Destroyed Spartan. Destroyed Spartan is from Macross, as you can see, is carrying the official branding. Um, and it's been made by this company called Kids Logic, who are based uh, out in China. And yeah, this is a one to 285th scale miniature. Um, so that is classic Battletech scale models. Battletech was never 1 to 300th, it was 1 to 285th for reasons, um, well, for reasons. Yeah, so I came across this uh, from someone on Twitter and I ordered one so I thought it looked interesting. Uh, I think this cost me $11 plus a bit of shipping, so it was pretty inexpensive. It arrived quite quickly from the manufacturer. Uh, which is kids logic. So, well, okay, what has this got to do with Harmony Gold? Well, 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 if we have a little look on the outside, you would think absolutely nothing. But if we unbox this, we will find out. So we'll come back to that, the actual miniature in a second. So here's a little inset sheet. Um, so there you go. Okay, most of this is in, uh, I don't know if it's Chinese, I think it's Chinese. Um, it's quite snazzily presented. Very impressive 3D render, so we'll see if the miniature actually lives up to this. But, uh, here we go, Kids Logic made in China. 1985 to 2019, Harmony Gold USA. So Harmony Gold have issued the license for this Battletech scale miniature to be produced. Fascinating, <laughs> absolutely fascinating. I don't know if they've done it as a bit of a troll of um, FASA and its derivatives. So, so Hairbrain Games, and I suppose by extension Piranha Games, who do the current MechWarrior game. But yeah, here you have it. So Harmony Gold are now manufacturing under 285th scale resin miniatures of the Destroids and the Valkyries and the uh, Battle Pods that they um, refuse to, well, in effect, refuse to allow FASA to make over that legal ambiguity. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to unbox this miniature and take a look at it and see if it's any good. It's pretty simple. Uh, contents of the packet, we have a body or a torso. We have a little bag of parts and some foam. A little sniff, this is pretty whiffy resin. It reminds me of the smell of a resin of the um, Leader Rats tank that I bought also uh, from uh, sort of um, China. So this is, Certainly more effervescent resin than uh, you get in the UK. However, let's see if the miniature is any good. I'll tell you what, for um, artistic purposes, let's put the box there. Right, so it's pretty simple. In effect, it's a three part model plus a base. Right, is it any good? Well, wow. Gosh, would you look at that um, to answer my question, my first impressions as to is this any good? Uh, heck yes, this is a very impressive miniature uh, in terms of its design and casting. Um, there's perhaps just a little bit of mold seam to clean up um, here.
maybe a bit of tidying around some of the feet, but for a single piece of resin cast, this is very, very good indeed. And it even has the antenna. I think they're antenna. I don't know if they were an anti-aircraft gun. Uh, maybe they were anti-aircraft guns. Perhaps um, Macross experts in the comment section um, could comment on that. But detail-wise, I mean, this is fantastic. It looks absolutely great. Wow. Detail-wise, this is absolutely fantastic. It looks brilliant. Yeah, wow. Gosh, and this cost um, $11 as well. Okay, it's manufactured out in China, so wages are much cheaper, so you can't do a like for like comparison with UK manufacture, but it does show what can be achieved with a single piece resin uh, cast. Uh, this is a sort of quality that, uh, well, Forge World should aspire to. Let's take a look at the other components and then we'll, I uh, wonder, uh, wonder if we might push fit together. Now, so we've got a base. So they didn't quite go for maximum troll points. They went for a round base as opposed to a hexagonal base. And there's a couple of little indents there. Um, and the feet, so will it fit out of the pack? Excuse me a second while I do that. And uh, yes, it has actually, surprisingly well. And then the other two components are a left and a right arm and yeah look at that beautiful gosh a little bit of a seam to clean up there but yeah the detail on these is ever so crisp it really is they look great definitely got a seam to clean up there haven't we Still, overall, this is very nearly perfect out of the pack. Right, so in terms of assembly, that goes there, and then that goes there, and there you have it. We have our destroyed, destroyed Spartan. Um, this isn't the only destroyed they've done. The phalanx is out. And they're going to do the Tomahawk, or the Warhammer, uh, Longbow, as they were known in the Battletech universes. And there's a few other things available. There's that great big, massive mobile artillery thing, a few Valkyries, the Armoured Valkyrie, uh, or Crusader from Battletech World. Yeah. And there's um, some more miniatures coming out. I think the Tomahawk, aka Warhammer, isn't yet released. Those being released mid January uh, 2020. But all in all, that's a beautiful miniature. Really, really nice. You could even put magnets in these arms if you wanted to be able to uh, easily pose the arms. That would work well. Yeah, so interesting. Um, as I say, uh, being a fan of the Battletech game and Remembering the wilderness years of the uh, the unseen mechs. Well, it wasn't that bad, but well, it was. It was pretty. It was pretty sucky when uh, FASA stopped producing those designs because they're so cool. Um, having Harmony Gold, the license this out to Kids Logic to manufacture, is a very interesting development. You can use these miniatures. It's perfectly scaled to play BattleTech. Um, all it needs is a hex base if you're playing classic Battletech with a hex based map system. If you're playing the derivative versions of Battletech, which are like a tabletop war game, then it is good to go and you have hardly any work out the packet uh, to build this. And <laughs> you can't help but notice at the time when the Battletech Kickstarter has recently been run for the clan invasion, in which they included virtually every reimage design that Piranha Games has developed for the MechWarrior game. It's not a coincidence that these are appearing at the same time. I think it's yet another volley 
in the never-ending legal battle between Harmony Gold and Fassa's successor companies. Haha, <laughs> like what did their successor companies like? Successor states. That's a nice little uh, punnage to get in there. Yeah, interesting. As a miniature though, this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I suspect, uh, well I don't suspect, I'm pretty certain that this is of superior quality to the plastic miniatures that are being released through Hairbrained and the Kickstarter. Now, am I saying buy these? Not at all. You can all make your own minds up as to whether or not you want to buy product uh, where Harmony Gold are getting a slice of the pie. But the reality of it is we have this beautiful 1 to 285th scale resin Destroyed model and a whole host of others. Interesting times indeed and food for thought. In terms of food for thought, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this product and, uh, you know, any uh, musings that you have on the FASA Harmony Gold legal war. Please, as always, do share those thoughts and observations down in the comments section. I'll be very interested to hear. But other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.